Hi, this is Nader Helmy with Matter. Today we're going to be looking at how to generate revocable credentials using the Matter platform. One of the fundamental aspects of any credential-based system is the ability to provably revoke a credential when it's no longer valid. Essentially, this allows the authority on some piece of information, which we typically call the issuer of the credential, to maintain that data throughout its life cycle by managing the status of the credential directly. So, to kick off this process, we're going to go ahead and create a revocable credential. We're going to be using our credentials endpoint here. And the important thing to pay attention to in this case is this revocable property. I want to make sure that's set to true. This means the credential will be revocable by default. So go ahead and create that. Now in this newly generated credential, there are two pieces of information we want to pay close attention to here. The first is the ID property. This is the identifier for the credential, which is internally generated by the platform. The other property is the credential status. Credential status points to what's known as a revocation list. A revocation list is the verifiable credential that contains the credential status of many, many different credentials. It can actually hold up to 130,000 credential revocation statuses in one revocation list. This revocation list is typically hosted by the platform, which is owned by the issuer. And what it means in practice is that when a verifier or relying party wants to request some data from a credential holder and they want to check the status of those credentials, the issuer will not know which credentials they're checking. This allows the holder to maintain their privacy and it means the integrity of the interaction stays between the credential holder and the party who's requesting some information. So we've created a bunch of revocation endpoints to help the issuer manage the credential status throughout its life cycle. The first thing we want to do is check the status of this credential. So we're going to go ahead and grab the identifier for the credential. Simply go over here and check the status. Now as we can see in the response, is revoked is set to false, which means that this credential was validated and the revocation list was checked and it was found that the credential has indeed not been revoked. The next thing we want to do is grab the entire revocation list. So we're going to go back to this credential we created, grab the identifier for the revocation list, and go and grab that revocation list from the platform. Now as we can see here, this is just a regular JSON-LD verifiable credential, which means it can be validated the same way as any other VC would. This allows the verifier or the relying party to ensure that the issuer of this revocation list credential is the same as the issuer for this original credential. Now finally, we want to go ahead and revoke this credential. So we're going to grab the identifier for the credential one more time. And we're going to go ahead and revoke it. In the request, we're going to set is revoked to true, which means we want to go ahead and revoke this credential. And now the credential has been revoked. So we're going to go and check the revocation status one more time. We can see our previous request showing that is revoked was false, which means the credential is not revoked. I'll check one more time. And now we'll see is revoked has changed to true, which means that this credential has now been revoked and the credential revocation list has been updated. So there you go. That's how to create and manage revocable credentials on the Matter platform. Now in the verify flow, our platform will automatically resolve the revocation status and it will return an error state to the user if the credential is found to already been revoked. Similarly, in the presentation flow, our wallet will automatically resolve the revocation status and allow the holder to check that status at any time. Now when they present a credential, they will also get a warning if they're about to present a credential which has already been revoked. So to get started, check out the Matter platform to find out more, check out MatterLearn. Thanks for watching.